Okay, I am back. I'm going to do some, I made a Mastodon bot. All it did so far was tweet, I <laughs> didn't tweet, it tooted. Ah, uh, toot, tweet, blog, post, who knows what all this stuff is. All I know is that it said, choo-choo. So I would like to show you some more things to make the bot a little bit better before we move on and, and hopefully start making some actual interesting examples of different kinds of bots you might want to try to make. So the first thing that I want to do is actually, I don't want to have all of this, uh, all of these secret keys and everything right here in my code because I'm going to upload this as an example for other people to use. I want to be able to hide that stuff away but still use it. And there's actually a wonderful node package, thank you to Alka for the um, suggestion, um, called uh, .env. So I'm going to say npm install .env. I'm going to install this node package. And what this allows me to do is create environment variables for a particular project. And that way I can upload the code without the values of those environment variables, but anybody who's using that code could set, the own values, set their own values of that, those environment variables. So what I'm going to need to do is create a new file. I'm going to call it .env. So it's kind of like, as you can see it right here, it's like a hidden file, .env. It even has this crazy settings thing. Um, and then in this, ooh, look, there's all these extensions I could use probably to like format it in all sorts of fancy ways, but I'm not going to be fancy. What I'm going to do, and I'm looking over here because thankfully um, Alka gave me some suggestions, I'm going to say things like uh, auth token equals client secret equals um, and I'm going to say client uh, ID equals. I think those are my three things. So if they're in the code, uh, client key is this. I'm going to put this back in here. Client key. Okay, I guess client key is what I meant. Um, do I need to, does it need to be in quotes? Maybe somebody can tell me. Maybe it shouldn't be in quotes, actually. Um, uh, I'm going to get the client secret. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the env file and put that in here. Right now I'm using single quotes, which may or may not be correct. Then I'm going to go back to my code. I'm going to get the uh, access token and I'm going to call it access token just to be consistent with my naming. Uh, and now if I do this, I can now go to my bot and I can also say constant uh, uh, env equals require uh, and then I want to require a dot env. Okay, actually just for consistency sake, maybe I'll make this capital letters, I don't know. Then I'm going to say, then I need to call env.config, which will load it. The chat thankfully helped me out that I do not want quotes here. These are just the values. Um, and then I should be able to now, down here, somewhere, I should be able to say, ah, I should be able to say process.env.clientkey. Uh, so I should, this will now, is that right, process.env? Let me take a look. I have the documentation over here. Um, yeah, I think that's right. So I should be able to grab those environment variables. Whoops. Just like this. Uh, then the client secret. Then I should be able to grab this one and say <laughs> access token. Who knows if I've made some mistakes, but let's try running this now. Let's choo-choo, um, uh, choo-choo, choo-choo. Let's say choo-choo twice, and let's uh, run this. All right, I think this might have worked. And we can see, oh, this is the wrong page again. Choo-choo, <laughs> choo-choo. Okay, we can see that worked. So the, all of this stuff is now hidden inside my uh, environment file. And what I'm also going to do now um, is I'm going to make a... Um, I'm going to make another file called .env sample and then I'm going to copy this into there, into here, and then I'm going to take out all this stuff. Um, I'm going to make, because uh, eventually I'll put this on git, um, I'm going to make a file called .git ignore and then I'm going to say uh, .env. So basically what I've done is I'm saying, hey, this is my file, .env. That's my file that I'm only ever going to have locally on my computer. 
But when I publish this, I'm going to publish a sample one, which has information basically about what you need to put in there. And then um, I'm going to make sure that the actual .env file is not included if I ever check this into a Git repository, upload it on GitHub, so to speak. All right, let's make sure this works. Still working. Um, we can go here, and I've said, <laughs> okay, somebody definitely hacked my bot, so I'm going to read, which is great because I had my keys up on the screen. <laughs> well done, whoever you are. And um, I am going to uh, take a break and uh, regenerate my access keys so that nobody else can hack my bot, keep them hidden in my environment file, and then I am going to, uh, before something bad happens, I'm going to just close out of this window, and I'm going to come back and show you more uh, about um, we're writing Mastodon bots, and I'm going to I'm going to show you this fun thing called spoiler text, um, and how to have the bot post to Mastodon periodically every so often. Okay, so see you in the next video.